St. Peter's Square on the 13th of May, 1981. Pope John Paul II is shot twice by this man, Mehmet Ali Adja, leaving him seriously injured, one bullet in his abdomen and another narrowly missing his heart. But the reason behind the assassination attempt is still a mystery. Two years after the attempt on his life, the pontiff visited Adjo in prison and forgave him. Now, more than 30 years later, that act of forgiveness brought him back to the Vatican to pay his respects at the Pope Saint's tomb. Today I've come here because December the 27th is the anniversary of my meeting with the Pope in 1983. I'm happy to be here in St. Peter's Square, the place where the miracle took place and the home of Christianity. Long live Jesus Christ, the only Redeemer in the world. Once a member of a Turkish ultra-nationalist group known as the Grey Wolves, Adja served 19 years in an Italian jail for the shooting. He was released in 2000 and then served another 10 years in Turkey for the murder of a newspaper editor. An Italian parliamentary commission in 2006 said it was beyond reasonable doubt that the shooting was masterminded by leaders of the former Soviet Union. At the time, Adja first said he was acting alone, then under orders of the Bulgarian Secret Service. Authorities were baffled by his multiple conflicting accounts, including one where he claimed to be a new messiah. I have returned to the place where the miracle happened, where the third secret of Fatima was fulfilled. With my attempt to kill the Pope, I have accomplished a miracle. I have returned after 34 years to shout to the whole world that we have reached the end of the world. Adja requested a meeting with Pope Francis, but it was declined. A Vatican spokesman said he had paid his tributes, and that was enough. Christina Zaric, BBC News.